I finally found time to do my haul for the 127 yard sale. Um, I don't have everything that I bought at the 127 yard sale. One of the pieces is just, it's too big. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a shelf that hangs on the wall and it's mid-century modern. Um, it's really cool, but it's too big to bring over here and I've got so much stuff over here. I'm gonna try to go through this and get through it quick so the video doesn't go on too long. I'm gonna try to go quick. Okay, so first off, um, I got this big easel. I'm always using these because um, I have, you know, some larger picture frames and uh, I do have some really big um, decorative plates that I put in my booth. So I'm always on the lookout for big easels like that. Then um, in my, my ride along video, I told you all I got two um, crates. I got a Coca-Cola crate that right there and a Pepsi crate like that those two Ugh, sorry about that <laughs> okay I got this kind of a brush copper um, watering can um, I don't really have anything in my house to use outside of a plastic water bottle to water my plants with. So I picked this up to, for me to use in my house to water my plants. So I really like that. Um, then I got this copper tea kettle with the porcelain uh, handle and the porcelain top on it. It's really dirty. I need to clean that up, but got that. Um, and at the place that was way crowded at the beginning of the video I told you all about, I got the... the crossbody bag, a little black quilted crossbody bag. And I think when I put this in my booth, I'm gonna put a little tag on there that says, um, I can be monogrammed. So, yeah, because I have another one that's similar to this and I took it to, my, to the lady that does my monogramming and she monogrammed it for me and it looks really cute, so. Then I got, actually I got two of these. I don't know if I have the other one here or not. But anyway, it's this basket, look at this. It's like really tall. <laughs> and it has this handle where you can hang it. Um, I got both of those at the same place. And, uh, yeah, I thought that was really cool. Kind of the farmhouse look. Um, I got this. This looks old, but I don't know if it is or not. But it's just like a, it's got a glass piece here. And then on the back, it's got a place where you put a candle and you can hang it. So, yeah, I thought that was super, super cute. Okay, um... I got this big silver fish. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I thought that was neat. Put that in my booth next summer. And remember the story about the, uh, when I told you the old man came out and asked his wife, uh, are you selling my clock? Well, this is the clock. <laughs> and when I got it, my intentions, oh, hang on. Oh, crap, all right. Um, that's the clock. <laughs> I loved how it's real ornate. I think that's just so, so pretty. I'm not crazy about the gold. Um, so if I decide to keep this myself, I'm going to spray paint this. And, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you this milk glass so I can get it up out of the way. These, remember I told you that we got, like, milk glass? It was awesome. So I got this piece. That's the design on there. Very pretty. And I got this piece. Actually, uh, my daughter and I got three of these. Uh, she took two and I got this one. I got two of these and it's got the, you know, the grapes and the leaves design on it. Very pretty. And I do want to ask you, I got you guys a question. See if you all know anything about this. Because whenever I find milk glass, I find milk glass like this that's like the real bright, pure milk looking color. And then I see some that's kind of opaque, like you can kind of sort of see, it's still white, but you can kind of sort of see through it. It's not quite as, you know, milky white as this. It, what is that? Do you all know anything about that? Um, if you do, leave me a comment below and let me know um, if that's anything or if, if it's all considered milk glass or, or if that's like replica milk glass. Next, I got this picture frame and it is like cast iron 
and I've already put, it just had the cardboard in the middle, and I've already put a piece of um, um, scrapbook paper in there, so it makes it look nicer. But anyway, it's really heavy, and it's cast iron. It's just like kind of a teal color. I thought that was really, really pretty. Um, then I got, when I saw this, it immediately drew my eye, and I was like, mm, got to have that. It is a strawberry shortcake cake container, and um, I've looked these up online, and they're for sale for a pretty, pretty good amount, but um, I cannot get that um, at my booth, so um, it won't be priced at what they're priced for online. It'll be a little bit cheaper than that. <laughs> um, next up, I got this little, I thought this was cute. It's just a little basket thing, and it's like a piece, like a candy corn with this little raffia on it. I thought that was super cute. I got two of these. Remember the guy that was trying to get me to buy everything? It was driving me crazy. I got these from him. Um, they're just like, you know, kind of. And my husband and I have these baskets like this, but they usually have the handle that's made out of this same material. I've never seen one with metal handles. So I got two of those, and one of them I've already used in my house to decorate. It's above my uh, cabinets in my kitchen. <laughs> Um, then I got both of these at the same place. Um, these are coasters, and they're just like, you know, the different card, playing card symbols um, for those. And then this also came from that same place. And evidently, um, I don't know, this, this guy, he had several, um, like, game, card game, like, paraphernalia stuff, well, paraphernalia, I hate to use that word, but anyway, you know what I mean. Um, he had a bunch of this uh, at, at his yard sale, but anyway, I got this. I won't read it all, but I thought it was pretty cool. Um, somebody that has a game room or maybe a basement, you know, or something like that, a man's cave, you know. Okay, I got this pumpkin, just a rattan basket pumpkin. The top opens up. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, the top opens up like that. And I got this, and it's just like, it reminds me of like a, I guess it's some kind of like primitive, like little doily, I guess. Um, anyway, I've had it up here on my buffet. As you all can see, um, <laughs> I sold my cabinet. Yay! Um, I got this glass bottle. I thought that was really kind of different. I got this little owl, and... Um, See, and I don't know if you can see or not, but inside of there is the little baby owl. And I thought that was really cute. So, yeah, I picked that up. And I got another watering can simply because this is ceramic. And it looks like somebody, somebody has painted that on there, like by hand. I know it's not the grace. It kind of looks like a child's painting or whatever, but I thought it was really cute. Somebody has made that. I got this... Grapevine Star. Actually, I got um, this one, and then I got two or three smaller ones. I got this sign, Cherish Life's, Life's Simple Pleasures. I got this picture frame. This holds several, several pictures in there. It's gold. I'm not crazy about the gold, but anyway, it can always be painted, and... I used to have all kinds of like individual picture frames all over with people's pictures in them and stuff. And I've kind of gotten away from that, trying to simplify a little bit instead of having so many little pieces of, you know, picture frames and stuff. I just go and get the ones that has several and you hang it on the wall. That way, you know, it's, it just, it eliminates a lot of clutter. Of course, <laughs> you know, my house, <laughs> I've got a lot of clutter until I can get things squared away. Um, anyway, this, when I saw this, I knew this was something, and I kind of remembered seeing it, but I couldn't remember exactly what it was for. Um, but it is to scale fish. Put your fish on there, and you scale your fish, or you fillet it, or whatever. Um, but it's it's kind of old, so I thought it was really neat. It might be a neat piece to decorate with, somebody that wants to, you know, use it, either, you know, decorate above their cabinet in their kitchen, or hang it on the wall, or whatever. I thought it was really cool. Here's the other basket. <clears throat> it's not as big as the other one, and it's just the natural color. Here's the other two stars that I got. I picked up this hat box, and I loved it. 
I thought that was really, really cute. Very, very cute. Somebody will like that, that either collects hat boxes or uh, wants to use that to decorate with. Um, <clears throat> I picked up candles, uh, just a plain white one, and uh, these two that are just kind of like fall color. This mirror, mirror with the gold edge. A lot of people like to display perfume, perfumes on that, set those on their uh, vanity in their bathroom and put their perfumes and stuff on it. Uh, another basket for my baby baskets. And one, two, three more easels. I got this big, um, like, tin. And the outside of it says cold drinks. It's pretty big. And then I got this mirror. This kind of is along the lines of the... Um, the clock. <laughs> I may keep that and hang that in my house. Uh, I will paint this frame though. I don't like the gold. But anyway, I thought that was real pretty. I love the ornate detail on that. Is that all? Oh, no. I have these candlesticks. Aren't those pretty? Very uh, vintagey and rustic kind of looking. And um, let's see, one more thing. One more thing. Hang on just a second. I had to get me a drink. Okay. I got all of these Christmas ornaments. They're all cat themed, but I thought they were so super cute. I got that one. And I love this one. And actually, I showed this one to my sister and she loved it. See his little whiskers and he's got little birds standing on his whiskers. <laughs> Two more. This one, playing with a little ball of yarn. And this one, just white with the red bow. Oh, one more thing. This is actually one of the best things. Okay, so I got two of these. I thought they were cool. They're picture frames, but the glass is like bubbled out. It's not flat. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like bubble poked out, sort of. This one has this in it, which the back of it, I can just take that back off and change out. And if I want to put a picture in there, I can do that. Uh, this one actually, and I'm going to have to work on them a little bit because the, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're a little rough. They're a little, in a little rough shape. But anyway, there's the other one. It didn't have anything in it. So, um, let's see. Is that all? Yep, I believe that's all. I think that's it. Guys, I'm so sorry that it took so long to um, to bring this video to you of everything I got at the 127 yard sale. Um, and it's not everything. I did get a few other things, but I just couldn't get it all around me. It was just, it would be too much. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you like this video and you're not subscribed to me, please subscribe. Um, and hit the little notification bell uh, beside the subscribe button and that will give you a notification each time I make a new video. Um, if you have anything you would like to comment about on anything that I bought or any, if you have any advice about anything, please leave me a comment. Let me know. And I will talk to you guys next time.